Hello. Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello. Welcome. This is the first episode of our... Uh, so, this, the, the, strat the structure I have in my brain is all the saints are sleeping. It's just what I'm going to use as, like, the catch-all for any World of Darkness thing that I run. So, that... Good name. And I thought Party Monsters is a good one for our for our, our sort of flagship 1982 uh, Vampire the Masquerade story. So that's that's technically what this chronicle is called. Is is, is Party Monsters, and it kind of worked. It was like a self fulfilling prophecy because I came up with the name, <laughs> and then and then Violet came up with them running a basically a mobile party. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it all kind of worked out in the end for me in that way. Hello, T and Gideon. Uh, I will say that we're, because I'm recording this as well using Craig. So when, everyone say hello to Craig. Hello, Craig. Craig. Hey, Craig. Um, My old enemy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if I don't like answer chat or, you know, things like that, and I don't have my, my, my sub and follow alerts and stuff, up at the moment um but i will see them and i will try my best to sort of thank them in the gaps here and there but i won't I, i'll try not to stop the flow to set to talk in checks i do want to record it and put it up somewhere else um at some point. oh cry i think um serve and i still muted on the stream Ooh. no I think it still says uh mic disabled by host for me yeah but that's um that's through twitch but i'm hearing you through discord so you should okay um, yeah you should yeah, it's one of those weird things where like they can hear us on discord yeah. it's just on twitch we're muted but it, yeah, it i'm muted on twitch because otherwise you're coming through twice but because if, oh, okay, if, yeah, if yeah, not everybody is using mean. the discord then i have to i have to use um if not everyone is using twitch then yeah. i have to use the discord <laughs> for the voice it's all good i've never used this twitch guest staffing before yeah i, I quickly got used to using it because it made it so when we started our warhammer game it made it easier for them to actually see because like for a while we were doing it and they couldn't see what i was doing because my camera was on the stream, so my stream, my camera was lagging behind. But using the Twitch guest star means they can actually see what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Not that it matters to um, Violet and uh, Blue, who can't see what I'm doing, but it's, it's all right. <laughs> 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 we'll, we'll figure out something eventually. Um, okay. Also, I popped out the chat. I can, I can reply a little bit. <laughs> Oh yeah, well there you go. If you want to, if you want to like reply in the chat uh, to them, that'd be good. Um, because I'm I yep. I can't I can't split my focus like that, unfortunately. Um, I don't have to right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's right. Um, it'll become very clear why why Violet's character doesn't have to, uh, doesn't have to be super present in the game to start with. <laughs> um. I mean, also, obviously, I've I've talked with everybody playing the game about like their their limits and things they don't like, uh, things that they don't mind actually like they don't mind referring to, but don't want to show, and things they just don't want included at all. Um, and but I, if anyone, because it's like it's a dark sort of like gothic horror game, so if you have if you do find stuff that's like unpleasant to you while you're watching or listening, do just you know turn it off, take a break. Don't feel obliged to, to, you know, struggle through it. That's no fun. Um, we'll do our best, you know, and also just know that everyone that's playing is, is sort of aware. We've all had, we've all had the discussion. We've all filled out a, a little form. Um, so I'm not, if, if they act distressed, I'm going to, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope that it's acting and not actual distress. And if it is actual distress that they would tell me rather than just have distress. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, um. Yeah, I'll put that. I'll put that out there for everybody right now. That's <laughs> not my. I've been told that my fake distress does sound distressingly real. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> well. Also, yeah. I'll just say in the Discord, if there is a problem, all you have to do is. Um... Actually, you know what I'll do. Now that I think about it, I have this in roll twenty, and it will be useful to us. I'll put this on the board because no one can see it. Um, I think you guys will be able to see it though. Do you see a little deck of cards? Oh, yeah. 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 If yeah. you have a problem yeah. with something, just drop the card. Um, bang. Oh, well, that's not the one you want. But you have <laughs> um, <laughs> a problem with yeah. something. Yeah. Oh shit. You can pick. You can pick them. Uh, yeah. I didn't realize there were more than one. 
Um, but yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah choose. oh, yeah, you click choose and then, yeah, okay. Yeah, so just, just click on it and pick the one you want and drop oh. that on the thing and that way I'll know. Um, and no oh, one, no oh, one, cool. and that screen is invisible on the street, so you don't have to worry about, you know, anyone mm-hmm. but the people playing scene. That is fancy. Yeah. Cool. The, the red and green card or red and green flags, that's very useful. Yeah. Okay. I just thought that'd be an interesting thing to, I don't tend to run these games particularly awful, but I just wanted to sort of have it as a, as an option there for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll just double check that my my audio is fine. I think it should be fine. Um, it seems like it. So T and Gideon said they could hear as well. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Nick has two monitors and is happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I can I still use chat. <laughs> I'm using my tablet screen as a second monitor because I'm not at home right now. I've got two monitors, but one of them I devote to watching this watching this stream. I should close the viewers tab. T says I'm allowed to look at that, uh, and I'll I'll close all of this except for the uh, the session time. There we go. Good. All right. Good. So let's start. Um, let me let me put my storyteller voice on that I haven't used in a few weeks. That's not how it starts. It doesn't start with me hitting myself on the desk. Um, I will mute so I don't like make weird chair noises. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so it's the it's early uh, 1982. The it the city is Melbourne. Uh, sort not quite as in touch with the rest of the world uh, as it will become in later decades. It's. It imports stuff. It imports some things, and a lot of the a lot of other things are homegrown. Uh, and it's one of those cities where it was built by uh, Europeans to feel European while not being in a European climate. So at times it can be stifling. Uh, the buildings all seem built for winter and not for the summer, which it is right now. But it's a nice city. It's got its fair share of dark corners, but so does everywhere in the world of darkness. Uh, and we, our camera pans in on a stormwater drain, a large outlet that about, about big enough for, for two people to walk down side by side that spills out into the main river that runs just south of the of the city, the Yarra River, a dark burgundy uh, muscle car pulls up on the uh, gravel gravel road just outside. It's the you know the gra- the maintenance road, the people the road that people drive up to drive up to to uh, to fix the tunnels. No one's allowed down here. That's not like officially appointed by the city but we have it's you know it's before the era of putting fences and security cameras on everything so as much as there might be uh you know a ban on people coming down here it doesn't stop people coming down here and as the car pulls up and the the door opens uh who steps out of the car lou uh, Miss Victoria Errant does, in her fancy little outfit that does not belong next to a sewer drain. <laughs> uh, and you, uh, you're waiting here. This is your, uh, you've appointed this place as, uh, well, um, the person you're waiting for appointed this place as where you'd meet up. Um, perhaps they suggested somewhere further in the, into the stormwater drains, but... Uh, you fir- you firmly told them that the entrance would be acceptable, and going any further into those uh, mouldy, damp, uh, refuse clogged uh, passageways was not your idea of a good time. As a uh, a, a stately and uh, well off ventru that you are, um, but I'm ass- I'm assuming it. Uh, 
I'm assuming Archie, it doesn't take long for you to emerge no. once the <laughs> once the car is heard and the, the the headlights sweep across the shadowy entrance to the tunnel. Yeah, no. Uh, once I hear the car, I think I start like running to the entrance. <laughs> I was probably like lagging a bit behind. Like, ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Astral. Sorry, I found a cool bug. <laughs> <laughs> Horrifying. Do you want to see it? No. No. Oh. Well, what type of bug? <laughs> it's like, I, I don't know, a, a buggy one. Wait. No, I will pass on to bug viewership. Thank you. Okay, I'll put it in my pocket. Uh, <laughs> describe, describe Archie for us. What, what, who is, what is, who is the bug wielding uh, fellow that has emerged? <laughs> Archie is a, uh, he is a Nosferatu. He's about five foot five. He's like hunched over. Um, he's missing like, he looks like very rat-like. He's like missing half his um nose. Uh, he's covered in like little cuts and like chunks of his hair are ripped out because even though. Vi- uh, vampire's heel. Archie spends most of his days wrestling rats in the um in the sewers for food. <laughs> rats that he is telepathic with, but uh, <laughs> he uh, you know, man's got to eat. Um, his um, he has like vampire fangs, but instead of them being his uh, canines, they're like his two front end sizes. Uh, he's in a uh, he's a camera if I said this. He's in a dilapidated Chewbacca costume. <laughs> Because he got transformed into a vampire uh, when he came out of seeing um, Star Wars for the third time. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Um, and and yeah, he lives in the sewers. <laughs> and Astrid, you're um, you're you're following out. I'm assuming you're following Archie out of the yeah. tunnels. Um, yeah. I don't know the yeah. tunnels as well as he does. Yeah. So no. Um, describe describe Astrid for us um astrid looks fairly young probably like her like early 20s um kind of has like a punky look to her uh wears like a red vest like leather vest um she like has like heavy like heavy makeup around her eyes and uh like a violet lipstick um she looks very out of place in the sewers um and right now she's just kind of trying to hurry after Archie and um was like and it kind of calls out to him like are are, are we late or something what well, like uh, the car came. oh okay we're, we're getting picked up all right oh did you get your bug yeah I got it okay it says his name is Dave I don't know if I believe that Bugs lie? Is that something bugs do? That's a good question. <laughs> you should you should interrogate the bug. I don't... I don't know if we have time to interrogate our bug right now. Yeah, yeah I'll do it later. Yeah, let's let's do that. <laughs> Victoria, you know that you have an appointment with the well, all of you have an appointment with the sheriff who has a particularly nasty reputation for uh, for violence, mostly because the prince of the city, and this is one of the main hot button topics that's been sort of that you would know about Victoria, um, and Archie might know about by virtue of being in Nosferatu with uh, his ear to the ground. Astrid being very new to the to the world of darkness may not be. So across it, um, but the the caitiff, the clanless, the um, the the vampires with like low power and like and not a lot of years behind them, and you know their blood is considered so weak that even their the the signs of what what clan they belong to doesn't show through. They are a point of contention for the prince of uh, Melbourne. Uh, Prince Lytton, uh, who has been for the last couple of years basically wiping them out with very <laughs> with very little uh oh. very little concern for how it may look. Uh obviously as the prince, that's his prerogative. Uh 
that he he's declared them not members of the the Camarilla. Whether or not that would hold up in the in a court is uh, is irrelevant because they don't have courts. It's just whatever the prince says goes, unless <laughs> someone with a higher rank than the prince comes in and says different. Um, so that and that's what his his sheriff has been doing. His sheriff has been uh, leading the charge on rounding up these these clanless vampires and. To the point where you, if they are still in the city, they are in hiding. They are in the, in the far, sort of, extents the the borders of the city where, the fringes where no one goes, uh, willingly, uh, where you know the, the population is not as not as dense, and feeding is not as easily had, um, and they just sort of stay out of the way. But that's what the that's what the sheriff's reputation is, and they've been doing that. Uh, they've been the sheriff since Lytton first became prince, which was uh, over a hundred years ago. Now um, you might not, you don't really know the exact date. None of you are. If you're either very new to to the to the vampiric world, or you haven't been in Melbourne exceptionally long, um, so you know he's the story of what he was up to all those years ago is not one that's easily accessible no one really talks about it um the only sort of things you hear if you on the off chance you do speak to older vampires is that it was he the the guy before him was much worse but they won't explain how but that's who you're going to meet that's who that's who victoria is in a rush to get you all to um and why the 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 bug research has had to (laughs) had to had to have a pause um so Do we in- know what the meeting's for? No. They've just... Okay. Uh, all you know is that um, the sheriff has told Victoria to round you to round you up. Uh, she hasn't said anything about Astrid because, as we know, the... Um, well, actually, yeah, the sheriff doesn't really know... The sheriff doesn't know that Astrid exists yet. Uh, and while, uh, while they... They... Uh, Archie is known to exist, but not his the the. Uh, it's not known who his sire is yeah, publicly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His he, the the, no, the nature of his heritage is not is not well known yeah. because it's a it's a it's a considered an embarrassment uh, for his. Other Nosferatu yeah. probably know. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> at least sure. a couple. <laughs> but that's their favorite thing is to know things and not tell. Yeah, them, exactly. So, <laughs> so, Victoria, you've been instructed to bring them basically across across town to the uh to the dock the docks basically the docklands area this used to be a an an area where you know the ships came in and deposited their goods and they got loaded up but as the development continued along the river that got pushed further and further um west and north um until it's now basically a an like a they're trying to gentrif- gentrify it, but they haven't quite got there yet. So it's mostly just like you know, old warehouses that aren't being in, being used, and big empty car parks that never have cars in them, except for cars that have been parked there um, and forgotten. But that's where you're taking them. Um, do you want to do anything on the way there, or are you going to head straight there? Do I have uh-huh. access to a hose? Well, you've got you have the Yarra River, which is sort of right next to you. I don't know. Isn't running water a no no? Uh, (laughs) Some some of us. Yeah. (laughs) When was the last time you bathed? I um start counting on my fingers. Okay. Uh, Get to six. I'd be like, that's six years ago. Stop, 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 stop. Don't want to think about it. Just get, get in the back and try not to touch as much as you can. Thanks. Uh, if it makes you feel any better, I did bathe um, earlier. Excellent. That's at least one of you. I mean, the spe- I mean, shoot, I, had I known you were driving this thing, I would have made him do something. Yeah. She, she admires the car. It's a very. I, I like jump in the back like an excited <laughs> child. <laughs> Oh, rocks on those shops. 
<laughs> Would I have met the sheriff before? No. Um, um, I, I think of all of, any you, of us, Victoria is the only one who's met them, and even then, it was very brief. Like they're not, they're not. They're, even though they're the, they're the prince's uh, child, so you know they're a Toreador, They are very unsocial. They don't tend to. Right. They don't tend to do social things. You, uh, Victoria, you got the impression that the that their that their chosen form of art maybe had a lot more to do with violence than like painting nice things on a on a canvas. We love a little bit of intrigue. Perfect. <laughs> um, Toreadors are the ones who uh, very much would not like a Nosferatu being around, aren't they? It depends on the Toreador, but generally there's, there's animosity between your two clans by virtue of one is considered the pretty clan and the other clan, one is considered the ugly clan. Um, and they, they, they tend to disagree on things quite a lot. To the point where... I think uh, Archie's probably aware of this, but just doesn't think about it. <laughs> well, it's to the point where Nosferatu are known for finding like really pretty people to turn into Nosferatu, uh, and that that that's considered. A, 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 yeah, Archie is very aware of that yeah. one. That's considered an awful thing. Um, the Tor- yeah, the Toreador considered that really, <laughs> really abhorrent. Um, and the Nosferatu <laughs> do it for fun. So, yeah. um, I say to um, uh, Victoria, did we do something wrong? Why does the do you know why they, he wants us? Uh, do I know why we're going to the sheriff's, or have I just been told pick him up, um, bring him here? Yeah, the sheriff. The sheriff is is a she, uh, and the sheriff has oh, okay. basically just said, um, I would say Victoria. The sheriff didn't say bring them specifically. The sheriff just said bring some help, uh, and you oh. know, and to, oh. <laughs> yeah, to your mind, to your mind, I would say, and forgive me if I'm wrong, but to your mind, like. Um, being a Nosferatu, Archie is like, you know, sort of comes equipped with those physical, uh, physical strengths in vampires. Um, <laughs> and Astrid, uh, who we haven't really established, like in, in, in terms of the game, we haven't really worked out, you know, what, what clan Astrid belongs to, but the mm-hmm. abilities that Astrid has displayed are sort of along the lines of, one of the more physical, physically strong clans like the Bruja. Um, and that, that would be your, that would be your astute assumption as a, as a student of the, the vampiric ways. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Uh, in that case, um, I will squint at Archie in the back of my car in the rear view mirror as he gets his dirty little feet all over my seats. I, I don't wear shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I figured. God, I think maybe once there were shoes on my feet, but they are eventually long just... Since. Yeah, they've long, long since just, long. like, rotted away. They've returned to the ether at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I never drew his feet. Yeah, Archie just... <laughs> and Archie just uh, probably barely even noticed that they were gone. Uh... Look, it's probably nothing that serious. I'm assuming they just want us to do some heavy lifting. She seemed a bit... I don't know, frazzled. Anyway, I don't do manual labor. And you guys (laughs) are obligated to help me out, I think. Well, I mean... Oh, yeah. Yeah, just just leave it to us. We'll, we'll take care of it. Perfect. Friendship, I say. <laughs> yes, we are all such good friends. And she turns the car on. I, s- <laughs> <laughs> I want to say that the car the car engine rumbles to life to, 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 that block, blocks out Archie's response to we're all good friends. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just mute. Just, uh, just, just mute, as the car sort of <laughs> Sends, gra- sends gravel flying and and turns about to head uh, in the direction of the of the old docks. Uh, is there anywhere you'd stop on the way, or are you pretty intent on getting there 
as quickly as possible. The night's still fairly young. The sun's only gone down uh, a couple hours ago. If Victoria's a pretty punctual person, she would at least want to get there as soon as possible. But if anyone has any requests, and they are reasonable... <laughs> Uh, I, 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 if you say anyone has any requests, Archie starts to open his mouth and then you say reasonable and he closes it. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to ask if we would find a uh, bug scientist. <laughs> I forget their name. Ichthyologist? Etymologist? No, ed no. It's also E, I think. It's, no, that's fish. Oh, yeah, no, that's, it's that's fish. fish. Entomologist. I think it is entomologist. Ent yeah, and, and, yeah, I said etymologist, which yeah. is um language. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, entomologist. <laughs> That's it. Bug language scientist. <laughs> yeah. That would be you. <laughs> oh. The only one in the world. Yeah. Unfortunately, it might be hard to find a bug scientist, as you put it so eloquently, right now. Also, the only nearby university... Oh, and there's a few nearby universities, but the most major one is the University of Melbourne, and that's a Tremere domain, and... Uh, probably doesn't sound probably doesn't sound too appealing to go traipsing around a Tremere domain looking for a for a bug scientist. Um, yeah, <laughs> Archie looks kind of sad. Well, I mean, you know, Archie, we can we can put it on the list for later. You know, one, okay. once we you know once we I can also that just I can also just ask him what type of bug he is. Will he know? I, Consider. I don't know. I, I'm going to go off on a tangent here. Assumes, yes. I'm going to go off on a tangent here. Archie knows here. that he's a guy. My tangent yes. here is that um, the animals, even though you can speak to them, they still only they speak in a language you can understand, but their yeah, their 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 sort of their concept is still insect. So he wouldn't necessarily know what humans call him. He oh, yeah. That I am Out of character, animals. I know that. I think in character, Archie just <laughs> assumes that everything knows what they are in human terms. <laughs> he assumes he's in a Disney movie with a bunch of them. Yeah. <laughs> he is a Disney princess, and you cannot tell him otherwise. You know, Archie, it, it's, entirely horrible, possible, horrible. it's entirely possible you discovered it. Maybe <gasps> you can name it. I will name it the Archie. <laughs> that... That's a name. The Archie, yes. founded by Archie. Mm -hmm. And this, this conversation is going... Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> this conversation is going on, uh, Victoria, as you, as you turn over... Uh, you cross Prince's Bridge onto Flinders Street, turn left, and just continue driving down. It's, it's, the, it's night time, and it's the, it's the weekend, so it's, it's pretty... It's pretty busy. You see this lots of people sort of just lining the streets on their way to this bar or that that club. Um, the facade of uh, Flinders Street Station is all lit up. Um, and But as you sort of go past it towards the uh, western end of the city, it gets a little darker. The, you see um, places under the bridges where it's, uh, you know, Maybe places you know that Kindred have hunted before. Um, you, you certainly know there's been stories of murders in this in this place. Um, and at, basically, at the further you go this way, the less uh, inviting and vibrant the city becomes. Uh, there must be a good reason that the sheriff uh, invited you to this particular spot. Uh, you know that... Uh, you know, stalwart Camarilla vampires like the sheriff enjoy doing their business. Uh, you know, out of out of uh, out of the way where people can't see it and accidentally accidentally uh, stumble across uh, the masquerade. Yeah, and as you turn, uh, you turn down Spencer Street, and eventually find your way to the parking lot that the sheriff. Uh, described to you you pull into it it's empty the lights are still still have power at least although a few of the bulbs look like they've been broken uh by like thrown rocks or something something more sinister um but what lights there are have that like sodium yellow glow to them uh as you stop the car no one is in sight just yet but 
that's not unusual for a for a for a kindred like the the sheriff to not to sort of be in hiding until they're ready to make their appearance. But this is the spot. You're relatively sure of it. I say, um, I say to Victoria, you've met her before. What do we, what do we need to expect? Are we? Well, I will, I can tell yes, you, 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 you what you know about them, Victoria, if you'd like. Um, yeah, go right the, 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 what do I know about them? Um, you've only met them very briefly. Uh, you sort of know how they look, but whether or not it would be, you know, that would be the thing you would describe about them. You just know that they are to the point. Uh, they don't tend to. They don't tend to countenance jokes very well. They <laughs> they always seem preoccupied with something else. Uh, there's always something going on that, that that it seems like they'd rather be dealing with than whatever they're dealing with right now. Um, they they seem what you would I think what you would have drawn from seeing them is that they seem agitated when out of the prince's immediate presence. You've not yet. Uh, met the prince you've been sort of given what what could be described as like a proxy invitation to stay in the city like he's told through the sheriff he's told you it's fine for you to be here but you haven't had your official like presentation that that camarilla Camarilla law might call for um he's he tends to he tends to from what you can what you've found he tends to um delegate a lot of the prince tasks and just sort of keep the ones that are fun um that's his that's his sort of mo and i imagine that's what you would sort of explain to astrid and archie just now if you or if you might not tell them everything it's up to you uh okay so fellas here's the thing i would love if you two could be on your best behavior we're not here to waste her time. We're not here to waste my time. We're here to get the job. We're here to leave. Okay? Can we? Don't can we all talk promise about that? Yeah, the no, bug. For sure. Don't uh, talk about the bug. We can <laughs> handle the bug situation once the job is done. How's that? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Hey, uh, Miss Victoria, <laughs> is there like a certain way we should greet the sheriff? Like I, I'm still new to all this. Like I don't know if there's like a word or something. You don't like, flip them off. You're probably fairly safe. You know, you could bow, but not really to a chef. You know, just say hi. Even better, don't say anything at all. I can do that. Perfect. What, whatever you say. Perfect. Well, this is excellent. Okay, let's try to get this over with as quickly as possible. Okay. Astrid, can you give me a uh, wits and awareness roll? So I think if you click uh, wits, uh, if you click mm-hmm. if you click awareness on your skills, yeah, and then it will tell you to pair it with wits, or give you a drop down menu to pair it with wits. Uh, yes, so pair it yeah. with wits. Yeah, I just want to check something. And then me. I don't think I get any extra dice. Nope, none. Okay. The difficulty. Uh. It's asking me for difficulty. Three. Like, literally with a question mark. Three. Three. Uh, I should have rolled something. Mm-hmm. Uh, hang on. I thought I did it right. Oh, there we go. Oh. Well, we're going to turn off the dark. Oh, it was just very see. slow. Yeah. Um. Okay. That's a, that's some decent successes. Uh, so, <laughs> as you're kind of as you're listening to um, Victoria, maybe sort of instruct Archie on the finer points of not being so so gross and and creepy <laughs> to the in front of a in front of a Toreador. You see between the two like a aban- there's two abandoned cars uh, with like you know the windows have been broken and the tires are missing on one of them. Like basically, it seems like they were parked here years ago and left behind. And you see moving between them a flash of black, but it's not like a person; it's an animal on, like, on all fours. Like, and you could swear 
it was a well at this amount of success you could you swear it was a, a panther of some kind just like a black panther moving um but it doesn't come out That's the weird. other side of the doesn't come uh, yeah and astrid you you sort of you're the only one that that sees this out because the other two are sort of talking to, to each other um uh, yeah uh, so you see it but it doesn't come out the other side which sort of which may make you think was that actually something i saw or was it just a just an illusion an optical illusion but yeah hey y'all out of curiosity are panthers a common sight around here oh yeah there was something right over there it didn't pop back out but between those two cars i go and have a look <laughs> Like for in the middle of um Victoria explaining things to me. I think. <laughs> well, I go first. Um, so Archie, you approach those. You approach the cars, uh, and as you know, you've got sort of keen vision, being a a Nosferatu. Not sort of maybe not supernaturally enhanced. I don't think you have that ability. But you do have the, you know, you do have sharp eyes in the dark because you spend all your time in the dark. Uh, and Archie you... is my only character who is not canonically colorblind. <laughs> <laughs> you see a, maybe you do, like, it could be a footprint for sure. Uh, it's, you know, fairly dusty sort of gravelly ground. Um, so it could be like a, like a, like a big cat footprint. Obviously you're not, uh, like... It's not your wheelhouse to identify the poor yeah. prints of big cats, but you do see it. But and you can't. Yeah, there see aren't it. many of them. Um, you can't see it anywhere like around here now, but you do. You do see the footprint. Hmm. Um, I say. Uh, actually, no. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to walk back and say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was yeah. a footprint. Yeah. It, uh, Victoria. Like... <laughs> Sorry, go on, Astrid. Oh, no, she's just like, is that, like, normal? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, Not particularly. It depends. We don't have much megafauna in Australia. <laughs> as, as, uh, as Victoria is sort of saying, it's not normal, uh, you hear a, a voice immediately behind you, Victoria, a very familiar one uh, that belongs... To the sheriff and Astrid and Archie, you could swear that this, because she's a fairly diminutive woman, sort of Victoria manages to kind of, I'm not going to say eclipse her, but she manages, she's sort of small enough that she can sort of step behind Victoria and not be immediately visible. But once she speaks, she's, she's obvious. Uh, she's dressed all him in black. Uh, she has her black hair done up tightly in like a, in like a bun, like no nonsense kind of bun, nothing particularly fancy. Uh, and when I say all black, it's like a, like a, a turtleneck and, and like black slacks. There's nothing, this is not a to, the sort of Toreador you'd expect. There's no, there's no, there's no fancy jewelry. There's no fancy fashion here. Her, her features are like immaculate in the sense that they, you know, she's, She's clearly she's clearly was chosen as a Toreador because of her 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 beauty, but her features seem to have also taken a, a very kind of like uh, feline kind of bent over the years. Like her her eyes are a bit more uh, uh, a, a bit a bit more sort of like almond shaped, uh, and and also an unnatural kind of red color. And her skin is very is very pale. It's clear she's not using the the blush of life, and she says... Archie, as a uh, very rodent-like man, suddenly feels very uncomfortable. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> um, and she says, Victoria, I don't recognise one of these. Who is this? And she gestures at Astrid. Uh, well, this is Astrid, and she... I, I do, you know what I didn't exactly. Uh, do you two live together right now? Is that what's going on, or is it like a little home share situation you've got? Uh, Archie was kind enough to kind of show me the ropes 
Um, I'm, I'm one of them. Uh, what you call it, Archie? Uh, shovelhead. <laughs> Shovelheads. That word definitely takes like takes um takes the sheriff aback, and uh, she kind of looks at you, Astrid, and says, "I'll. I hope you're using it in the." pejorative sense and not in the the factual sense but either way it's not important um if there's an issue obviously we'll deal with it later and then she turns and then she sort of turns to victoria like i'll talk to the one you know who will translate me to the other two so victoria there is a package uh, i've been informed about coming in up the river it should have already arrived. What I need you to do... Oh, I love the river. Is, ...is retrieve it. Uh, bring it to this address, and she hands you a piece of... Uh, a piece of paper uh, with, the, with the address neatly written on it. Um, so I need you to take it to this address, and I need you to do it as soon as possible. Um, obviously, the reason I'm not doing this myself is the docks are Anarch territory. And you and your your friends have little uh, little status with the local Camarilla, which makes you non threats and non entities to the Anarchs. Does that make sense? Perfect, crystal clear. Can be done hopefully by the end of the tonight. And if you can achieve this, then we can arrange your audience with Prince Lytton. All three of you, and get you properly uh, integrated into our society. Like, <laughs> Archie looks a bit uncomfortable with that and whispers to her, Victoria, "Do I have to stop living in my ho- in my shack if that happens?" No, not at all. You will be. You'll be. Gr- <laughs> we would be grateful if you would stay uh, in the appointed. Oh. The, the appointed domain of the Nosferatu, please. I stay in the shack, if anything. Uh, that is perfect. Wonderful. We will get straight on it. Very good. Um, and that, that said, the sheriff turns uh, and begins to walk away. And perhaps to answer your, your queries, uh, your, your thoughts, your curious thoughts, uh, she gets to the sort of the edge of that pool of light cast by the streetlight and seems to like it's hard to explain. It's like her whole form becomes kind of liquid and re like collapses in on itself and then reforms into something like a black panther and then runs off into the, like, you get to sort of catch a glimpse of them before they disappear into the dark, um, into the shadows, and they sort of blend with them so well that you don't, you don't see them, uh, see them after that. And then you're alone. Oh. That explains that. Um, your oh, she's scary. She's a little unnerving. Yeah, uh. Anyway, uh, so river? No swimming, but yes, it. Uh, oh, I please, I wouldn't do. Right, do I have to translate anything that we were just requested to do, or is uh, our orders? I think it was pretty clear, right? We just grab the package and we we, we take it to that their address you got. Victoria, can she inspect the address real quick? Yeah, it's a. There's a there's a place called uh, um, was well, an island. It, it used to be an island, but now it's sort of been built out onto where it's become a, more of a peninsula uh, in the in West Melbourne. Uh, and that's it's 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 mostly for like you know they store you know petrochemicals and things there. But there's warehouses too, uh, and it's one of those uh, warehouses. It's along the Maribyrnong mm-hmm. River, just across from Anarch Territory. No. Oh, actually, I do have a question. A um, yes, Astrid. What exactly is an anarch? Um, it, it, the anarchs are 
I always forget you're so new to this. The Anarchs, my friend, are what we do not want to be. They are... Well, they are not all bad people, but they are certainly against what the Camarilla is trying to achieve. They put us all at risk. Uh huh. There, there are other vampires, obviously. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I was kind of curious about that. So they're vampires. They're just their 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 values are different. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. They're usually not particularly fond of the Camarilla, so that would be why we're being sent in. Oh, okay. And you're not with the Camarilla. <laughs> I, think, I think we are. <laughs> Wait, where? Uh huh. Everyone is, unless they make a fool of themselves and claim otherwise. But in this city, I am not yet recognized as part of the proper cohort. And neither oh, so are you. we're not. Right. We are, but we aren't. It, it all get. Look, everyone is Camarilla, but we are not. <laughs> Even the Anox? Yes, but no. Look. <laughs> you're going to have to just trust me on this. It Wait. gets a little confusing to explain to the new ones. No, I, I think I get it. I think I get it. It's like back home in the country clubs. You were a member, but you really couldn't go into the me- like the lodge until you had your membership card. Yeah, exactly. Just oh, like I that. Card. We haven't paid the membership fee to get in to the country club yet. Oh, and okay. I'm standing on the talks at night with an Osferatu and oh, <laughs> okay. so uh, look, it's it's fine. It's fine. Let's go. We're all fine. Yeah, be right. Yeah, let's get your membership. Let's get our membership cards. Let's get cards. <laughs> There's no actual cards, Archie. I'm so sorry to disappoint me. That's all right. I don't have any way to put one anyway. Uh, well, you know, Archie, <laughs> give me a, give me a nine or two, and I'll I'll try to make you a card if that makes you feel better. <gasps> You're gonna end I mean, up I got... or... the sheriff's gonna end up like chasing you down for making masquerade breaching membership cards. <laughs> 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 just it's a hand like. Over her face, just clenching <laughs> as they talk. <laughs> yeah, I knew about the Camarilla. I didn't know there were cards, but then I found out there weren't cards. It's been a very strange day for me. It's been very <laughs> odd for all of us. Let's get back in the car. Let's get to the docks. I want to eat something. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I want to go see what the package is. Um, yes. Victoria, you'll also notice on the other side of the card is a, um, it just says, ask for ask for Daniel, uh, written on the card, um, presumably a contact at the, at the docks or at the warehouse. Uh, the sheriff wasn't clear. Um, <laughs> but at least you have a name. Daniel. Are we all? Got it. Yep. Um, on the way you're there in the car, say, are we allowed to open the package when we get it? Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with a solid no. You don't see to... delivery drivers <laughs> opening your packages, did you? I turn to Astrid and uh, say, I'm, I'm probably going to open it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, say, say that one more time because I, like, I kind of heard part of it. Uh, I'm probably going to open it anyway. I want to know what's inside. Um, she kind of like whispers, to you, "Don't, don't." She said, "Don't do it." But she says a lot of things. I like to imagine right. this whispered conversation going on. And yeah. Victoria, right. completely aware of it. <laughs> <laughs> right. at them Archie, look, 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 look at her. Look at us. Look at what she's driving. I'm pretty sure oh. we should probably listen to her tonight. Ah, oh, true. I do want to go home later, and I don't want to walk. <laughs> Besides, I think she's kind of stressed about all this, and like, I mean, she seems nice enough. Oh, yeah, no, she's lovely. Yeah. Although she keeps rejecting my invites to see my shack. 
<laughs> it, it's kind of a weird thing to ask, Archie. Maybe don't call it a shack. I'm just being honest. I mean, call it like the lair. It sounds mysterious. Victoria turns but, but, on the radio. It's missing a wall. <laughs> She's just like slowly cranking the volume. <laughs> oh, wait, I love this song. Betty Davis so eyes. Like Betty Davis eyes plays through the radio as you <laughs> as you drive down. Uh, you drive down the uh, the Harbour Esplanade and continue <laughs> northward towards the actual working docks uh, of Melbourne. Uh, by the time you, you when you get there, it's it's night time, but they're all they're sort of active at all hours because you know ships are always coming in. They're, but they're the activity is sort of slowed down a little bit. The lights are on, uh, and you can see there's some ships uh, sort of docked, and the the big cargo containers are being being carried off. Um, there's a a fence with razor wire around the premises, except for a a gate with a with a sleepy looking guard who sits in the in the shack next to next to the the button that brings up the boom uh that blocks the gate um the fence is maybe you know you maybe you, you could find a way around it if you looked looked but around the sort of the, the the parts of it where it borders the street it's very well kept but there's other parts of it that sort of go into the scrub a little bit and it might not be as well maintained back there, but you don't, you wouldn't know without looking. <laughs> what would you like to do? So, um, do, do you, you didn't say there was anyone around that we could see, right? Oh, there's a guy, there's a security guard in the booth. Oh, right. Um, like looking kind of sleepy, like. Watching a little little portable TV, you know, with a flickery black and white <clears> screen, <throat> and kind of a real Mike Oman trout type. Yeah, <laughs> except less intimidating. Just real, <laughs> real, um, it's real sort of like, you know, my job is to sit and make sure and open the gate when people have the right paper and keep the gate closed if they don't, and that's what I do. Oh no, do we have the right paper? I say to uh, Victoria. <laughs> uh, we have no paper. <laughs> Oh, so shit. Not, yeah, real... Puts a wrench in our plan, doesn't it? Yeah. Well... <clears throat> Maybe we, if we ask him nicely. Probably if we ask him nicely. You're right. You're so smart, Archie. Thank you. Uh, do we have yeah, Archie any... Smiles. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any idea, like, the general area of this package that we're going to? Was there anything on, like, that piece of paper that might have suggested it? Or was it literally just, it's here somewhere? Well, there's a, there's nothing on the paper that suggests it. Uh, it's more, it is just here somewhere. But from here, you can see that the, that the place is sort of sectioned off into very, like, specific places for each package. Uh, and there's this very, like, a, a yard where it's, like, where it says, um, like, pre-screening. Uh, which you would maybe think implies that it's uh, stuff that's just come in and they haven't screened it yet. Uh, and that might be an ideal place to start. Um, I will be back in a minute. Sure. Well, we'll be I like think this. my food is ready. We're on the hour mark. Do we want to take a quick break before we, um, before uh, we that carry That might on? be an okay idea. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, just because, yeah, I think my break. food's ready. So. Great. So let's just take a quick break. Cool. Uh, um, Violet, free, feel free to emerge from the silent booth. Um, <laughs> I've been yeah. dying of laughter this whole time. <laughs> I'm just going to grab a drink, but you guys feel free to keep chatting. and I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. I should get a drink. I have finished my coffee. Yes, please. Probably water. If you, Shoot. you should have what some water. I did I put my stick? Wait, this has wheels. Oh, for a second I was like, what are you talking about? And then I was like, oh, okay. I was like, I know I left you with your stick. Mm -hmm. I, I literally could not have gotten around yeah. without it. It's hard mm -hmm. to leave behind. I just had to remember where I put it. Yeah. But my headphones aren't long enough, so I gotta take those off for a sec. Mm -hmm. And wheel my way over to the stick. 
get your stick. Dicket was kind of like rowing a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I got my last Gatorade, don't worry. I'm hydrating. Okay. I was going to say, so just make sure you hydrate after drinking the coffee. But it is the last one, so maybe we pick up some drinks uh, before we come back from the thing. I mean, that's going to be fine. Like, I'm probably stopping by um, the card shop because some of my last cards came in. Cool. I'll get to stretch my legs. Yep. Just taking the sights. Oh, you know how great it is to know that I can go out somewhere without having to fight half a flight of stairs? <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> I can only imagine. I wonder if Craig Silver pauses. lining of this whole thing. <laughs> Craig pause. I know Craig has <laughs> nah, he Gids, I think that was like the first um, joke that I made. I don't know if Gids can hear me. I, I thought I, I thought so because T seems like she can no, hear us. They can hear you. I left, I left the Discord on because I don't have a, you know, pause screen for this. Cool. And then, and then this weekend I've got to learn how to edit audio that's okay you ever met if you uh the, the words um if you ever need me to make some quick like graphics to like throw shit together i i can do that that'd be good it'd be like good if, if we had need, like, like a the coder is okay. like a little little screen yeah Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to make a nice coterie picture. You can ask literally anyone who's been in any of my tabletop parties. I draw the whole party, and you cannot <laughs> stop me. Cannot. Not that anyone has ever tried. Board. It'd be interesting Hello, if I'm back. tried. Hello. Welcome back. Ah, I have pies. Um, I think... Um, it I was think... very fun to make the Chewbacca fur look like it was, like, clumped <laughs> together. It's good. Like it hadn't been brushed out in literal years. <laughs> you just look like some weird, like humanoid Yorkshire terrier. Yeah. I'm medium foot. Bigfoot's little brother. <laughs> medium foot? Well, I'm not little foot. That's a dinosaur. <laughs> Also, I've just put the Discord for the game and like the stuff, so, like where I'm trying to gonna put all the stuff surrounding this game um in the discord if, any, if anyone isn't already there and they would like to join it and sort of maybe see they can see some like graphics and stuff some imagery uh some news keeps track of when we're, when we're starting um because i don't mm. put it up on my regular me discord um, actually i think i think i already threw my drawing at gideon's server <laughs> oh there you go <laughs> did i did i uh, no, I didn't. No, you didn't. How dare. I did not. For shame on me. Usually Gids is like the first person I hurl my art at because he's awake at four in the morning. You know, after Blue. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. Nick's awake at weird times, too. I'm awake most of the time. It yeah. sucks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, I remember how that used to be. Nick has a friend called Coco in Germany who tells me to go to sleep all the time. I do, no matter what time of day yeah. it is. Yeah, I I, I remember... He had to yell at me to go to bed at 4 a.m. yesterday. <laughs> this morning... Wait, no, yesterday. It's yesterday now. 
I remember I once had a message from Coco was drunk on a Discord and I, I said something to him and he said, go to sleep. And I'm like, Coco, it's 11 a.m. for me. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep. <laughs> no, see, when, when, I I see, that, when I see y'all on at like 11 in the morning, that's when I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> when it's 11 in the morning, my time... Y'all should be asleep. Something's gone wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it, it's fine. I only went. I was only like two a.m. I went to bed last night. That's not too bad. I can't stay up that oh. late anymore because, like, because T needs to go to sleep, and if I'm yeah. up and about, it usually keeps her up, and then she's upset with me the whole next day because I kept her awake because I was like up past a certain time. <laughs> Our, our household has an understanding that uh, it's it's too difficult to ask all the day people to stay asleep for the night people and all the night people to stay asleep for the dinner. Stay yeah. asleep, stay quiet. There we go, words. Organized <laughs> um, chaos. In, in yeah, my we've house. We've just learned to sleep through each other's noise. I like to really say that useful. in my house, there's always someone awake, which has proven useful multiple times. Mm-hmm. We just have the two of us because we don't have uh, <laughs> shared housing. <laughs> oh, I, st- I love my family still. Oh, well, that's useful. Yeah. yeah. The crap startled out of me over here because I'm over here by myself. And if I hear a noise, I assume it's one of the cats. And it <laughs> actually was another friend coming over with like more cat food. And so all I heard was a bunch of noise and suddenly a bag rip open and cat food go everywhere, like cat food being poured out. And I was like, I went out there, I was like, okay, what are you getting into? And I scared the bejesus out of this poor guy. <laughs> um, once he in, yelled, um, I yelled. <laughs> for like six months of 2020, I lived with a mate of mine. And um, one night while I lived with him, it was about like, I think, 2 a.m. And I heard the back door open. And I knew that it wasn't him because he went to bed at like 11 p.m. And I was like, oh, God, am I about to go get murdered? <laughs> And eventually I got out of bed and there was just a fucking stranger in the house. <laughs> and That's I was terrifying. like, and I just was like, I'm sorry, who are you? I was like, oh, I'm your roommate. I'm um, your roommate's brother. And I'm like, oh, thank fucking God. I mean, anyone could just Don't... say that, Nick. Anyone yeah, but doing... after he said it, I realized <laughs> that he did look a lot like him. <laughs> See, I have a <laughs> dagger next to my bed and <laughs> also <laughs> a stick that has an ice spike on the end of it. So. A dagger! Just like the idea of a dagger of all things. It's like, I because imagine it, it being like... At the rent yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I knew that's what it would be. I knew it wouldn't just be like a utilitarian like knife. No. It would be like a jewel. No. It's, it's straight up a dagger. It's very sharp. <laughs> but also, I have plenty of regular knives. I was an art student. Right, nice. but this is like an actual dagger. I'm just thinking about it. We don't have any weapons in our house. I mean, I'm not, say, I'm not saying I'm not saying that I'm not saying that like, ooh, I wish I had weapons. I'm just I'm just sort of thinking <laughs> out loud. I don't think I don't think he wants weapons in the house. I have a pair of scissors I keep in my bed, but that's not for weapon purposes. That's just because I like spinning them on my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> the only uh, the only thing that dagger has stabbed, um, at least since it came into my possession, uh, is boxes and packages. It's it's my favorite package opening utility. Now, because it, it's it slices through that stuff like butter. It's great. Actually, I do have a weapon, but it's <laughs> on my own. Uh, I'll show it. It's weapon show and tell. Everyone, get your weapons out. Look, it's a thing. It's like a, it's like an ant. It's um oh, yeah. like an Aboriginal weapon that my uncle made for me. Cool. Oh, we had a we had like a what's it called the hmm. the wooden like club which has got the it's a it's a it's a maori thing the wooden club oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, we had one of those mm. in my in my in my parents house growing up oh crap what was that i have this apparently stick. that apparently that uh club thing was holding up some stuff <laughs> and that stuff fell over oh no <laughs> it's fine Do we want to to carry on our vampire story? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I've got my Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back onto mute, Violet. <laughs>
back I'm in the moment. I was <laughs> quiet, but like I wanted to make sure y'all knew I was laughing because I'm, I'm, I, I think people appreciate when they know that their humor is coming through. That's one of I'm my only, least I'm favorite things about push the box. I'm only playing because I was like, because I just thought it was funny that I was like, everyone ready? Okay, Violet, back to City Mansion. <laughs> and just like listening. Back to the silent box for you. Uh, by the way, if I'm muted, it's because I'm eating, um, but I'm still here. It's uh, okay, I... I'll just assume that uh, Archie is too. <laughs> yeah. Archie found a rat, don't ask where. <laughs> he he picked up a snack on the way. Yeah. He Like, he just reached his hand out the window and caught a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> It's casually. Victoria's like, not in the car, not in the car, not in the car, not in the car. I'm going to say he has to hang out the window to eat it because Victoria won't let him eat it in the car. (laughs) Is that a masquerade break, though? (laughs) I mean, I I feel like you could catch a pigeon. I feel like the way... No, no, the eating it out the window. (laughs) The way you you described Archie, I think he's kind of a masquerade preaching himself <laughs> I, mean, I don't know I've, i'm looking at the picture of him that violet drew and i don't yeah. think he looks particularly like like i think you could just assume he was just a fucked up regular yeah guy. i think i guy. i think i've said before that um he's a fucked <laughs> up little guy um yeah. but yeah no he's got the um mask uh benefit like as an advantage and I think I said that like his um fake ID thing would probably be like a Vietnam vet or something. To explain why he's like, you know, missing a chunk of his nose. Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay. I, I'd say he could he could pass. Provided he wasn't doing anything particularly As long as he didn't open his mouth. Yeah, as long as he didn't open his mouth. As long as he didn't start talking about vampire shit like he seems to love to do. Um, well also he's walking around in a Chewbacca outfit. People are just gonna assume it's practical effects. It's like yeah. spirit gum. <laughs> Although yeah, it is Melbourne, it's not. It's not like New York. It's not like you can just walk down the street covered in blood, and people are like that's fine. Yeah, that tracks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the last, so where we get left off, you were uh, wait, sent you could see the area like near the gate that you think might have been, uh, where they, where they sort of sorted through the new incoming, uh, uh deliveries. Uh, the gate had an entrance guarded by a sort of unassuming uh, mortal uh, security guard uh, and you were working out your approach to this. You're all still in the car, I'm assuming, probably just parked across the street. Yeah. All right. Um... Uh, dare I ask, does anyone have any bright ideas? <laughs> um. Let me check my... Can you see how my cloak of shadows works? I think yeah, it's only while I'm standing perfectly still. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah. Your draft. Um, I say we ram it. <laughs> I <laughs> say <laughs> not the not the car. <laughs> oh, Astro, I do like this car. Okay, let's not let's do a different plan. Mm. <laughs> Astro, uh, anything? Oh. Uh, well, uh, we could just. Steve, the sheriff mentioned something about. A, was it a Daniel? Yeah, what's going on? his name. Yes. You know. I don't know if I'm convinced just walking up to a guard and asking his name is going to be <laughs> not suspicious. I'll do it. Um, I mean, we could also just pretend like we're lost, asking for directions. <clears throat> um. Yeah. I could, pardon me, I could, uh, like, get a, get my, oh, I could try and get my bug to go in and have a look. (laughs) Maybe not the bug. Bugs aren't very good at talking. Yeah, do you have anything a little bit more? Oh, uh, I have my rat. Like a rat? Talk to it? Uh, yeah. I forget what I you named it. I think I... Uh, yeah. Most of the time. Sometimes it starts using fancy words that are a bit above my head. I don't know where he went. <laughs> okay. Well, you can tell me the <laughs> fancy words. I don't know what that is, really. That's a shape. Oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like Pretty those. cool shape. Yeah. I'm sure you <laughs> would. I was How about to say about? what flavor, but I don't know if shapes the biscuit <laughs> were a thing in this time. Oh, they must have been. <laughs> 
Um, let me see how that power actually works, because I think it's, uh, feral it's a, Yeah, it's, it's <clears throat> two-way communication with animals. Yeah, I do um, still have to try and convince. But yeah, I do also have the, um, Bond Famili- Famulus, I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. Um, um do you have a, so, I, yeah, is that, so you do have the Famulus? I'm assuming your rat is a Famulus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um. I think I named it Ratfew. Ratfew. Ratfew? <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, so if you want to talk to it though, it's a, <laughs> it's a um, you got to do a rouse check, uh, because you're, you're using a rouse check. Uh, so if you click, if you go yeah. in there and you see your oh, hunger, yeah, yeah. you click your hunger, I believe. Oh yeah. Okay. Ooh. Um, it automatically uh, upgrades. Really. Actually, that's yeah. your 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 like your familiar, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that should be free. Uh, let me have a look. No, no, but the actual uh, talk, the actual communicating with it is not free. The feral, oh, okay. the feral whispers power requires a, bl- a rouse check. Having the famu- the famulus, having the familiar, does not isn't doesn't require a blood. Yeah, check. no. While well, this power alone does yeah. not allow two way communication. Yeah, but yep. feral feral whispers is level two and does have one. So you, um, yep. <clears throat> I did not succeed. Yeah. So or no, did you, you did you did succeed, but because you had to you had to do a rouse check, it means your hunger is raised. So you suddenly find yourself as you're talking to this rat, you find that the beast sort of. Inside Start licking my lips of, as I yeah, look at it. Just kind of like, just kind of like, <laughs> push up, like thump up against your your rib cage a little bit. Like, I'm like, you know, I actually, I'm a lot, I'm hungrier than I thought I was. It's not so pressing that it would, that it would drive you to distraction just yet. Mm-hmm. But you do feel, <clears throat> you do feel that. Um, but yeah, you you are now able to communicate with the rat. And then the rat sort of the rat sort of tilts its head to look at you. Rat fuse sort of tilts its head to look at you and says, "Yep, what? Yep, hey, rat. Mm-hmm. Hey, rat fuse. Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you go like have a look around? Uh, go into like you know the warehouse over there. See if there. Uh, what are we actually asking him to do? What's that? What's that? What's a warehouse? What's that over there? Over there? Go you over see there. the big, the big, the big rectangle yep. over there? But yep. it's like yep, big rectangle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you need to go in there. You know how to do that. You're you've yep. been in rectangles before. Yeah, I've been been yeah, in yeah, rectangles. Yeah, yeah. I live. I used to live in a rectangle. Now I live. Yeah, now yeah, I live. Yeah. Now I live in a tube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, anyway. uh, cool. I love tubes too. They're good, aren't they? Good tubes. Good, good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not good for climbing. Huh? Um, what? <laughs> who's that? Who's that? Ah, uh, that's my friend. Uh, do you want to say hi to? Yep. Ah, uh, uh, Raf, you says hi. I told her you say hi. Cool. Hello, rescue. Oh, she said hi back. Sweet. Do you, do you remember to tell the rat to sniff out anything that smells like you? Perhaps? Oh, we want the rat to bite the security guard. We should not get the rat to bite the security guard. Want me to bite the security guard? What happens? Guard? What if he hurts poor Rathew? You don't want that. Oh, Rathew will heal. Won't you, Rathew? I need to check out my power works. Don't want to get stomped on. <laughs> don't want to get stomped on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't want you guys stomped on either, buddy. So, uh, so plan A is we send in Wrath to you. Like, scout. Scout out. Scout then, out anything that smells slightly vampiric, maybe. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so Wrath you know how, like, you know how I look like a guy, but I don't smell like a guy? I smell like nothing, kind of? You smell like dead thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know that? Yeah. And you know how these guys also smell like that? Yeah. Yeah, no, when you go into rectangle, can you tell us if there are any more things, uh, any more things that are moving around but smell like dead things? Yep. Oh, cool, thank you. You're a good rat. I'll Bye. give you some treats later. He pours out, you know, <laughs> he climbs out over the side. Out, like the, I'm assuming you, op- you start to open the window, he just scales it immediately yeah. and, like, squeezes through the smallest gap and disappears and, and yeah, just runs off and he disappears through the fence because the holes are wide enough for a rat. <laughs> And he's gone. I love that little guy. I'm going to break my heart to eat him one day. <laughs> It'll be pretty fucked up. <laughs> um, as uh, you guys are sort of waiting there, um, you see the security guard kind of rise up out of his chair and kind of lumber out of his security booth across the road and you think he might be heading towards the car. Um, he's got like his torch out and he's shining it on the... On the road as he oh. as he strip as he strolls across the road towards your car and he's like, 
He sort of like, you know, does that thing where they, you know, where you duck your head down to kind of look inside, like, especially like a low rising (laughs) car, like a muscle car. He's like, uh, hello, hello there. Hello. (laughs) Um, are you, what's, uh, I mean, it's, I guess it's a free country. You can park wherever you like, but, um, why are you parked there, madam? We're waiting for my rat. No, you shut up. Huh? What? Uh, v- Victoria pops open the glove box and yep. given her uh, status, I would say, and what she does, she pulls out just any manila folder. It's full of scrap paper. Nothing fucking important in it. <laughs> What's and that? she steps out of the car and blocks his view and puts on or to draw attention to herself. Okay, so that's that's no there's no rouse check required for or if I'm if I'm correct. And that means no. that's a is that that's a yeah, presence power. Um Yes. So he's immediately draw, his attention is fully focused on you. Uh and he sort of immediately stops paying attention to Astrid or Archie in the car, he's just staring at you and he's and he's sort of he, his eyes occasionally, occasionally flicker to the <laughs> to the manila folder. And he's like, oh, I see. Even though he probably doesn't see, he just he's just sort of he's just sort of standing there looking at you, and his torch is kind of just pointing at the ground now. Uh, good evening. Um, I'm here with the Bureau of Transport. Look, uh, we've got some weird reports of like break-ins in the area. Can you uh, show me to your supervisor, or at least help me out? Here with this man, it's late, and I want to get home. Well, oh, my, uh, my, 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 my supervisors are on the. I've got to, I've got to call him up on the phone. But I've got, um, I'm, uh, I'm the 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 chief uh, security enforcement official uh, of the premises, and I can just, I'll just do, do, you, what do you need to see? The offices are locked up, but the grounds are, grounds are open. What's what's? How are you? Are you good? <laughs> Am I the un? It's been a long day. What's your name? Dan. Dan. It's been what? a long day, Dan. <clears throat> Is that the name of the guy we're looking for? Yeah, but you oh. Listen to any sort of instruction. <laughs> was it? <laughs> was it Dan? This is like out of character. Was it Dan or David? I should have written it down. Daniel. Yeah, okay. Daniel. Actually, Daniel, <laughs> you are just the guy I wanted to see. Oh, and he sort of stands up a bit straighter and brushes some uh and brushes <laughs> some uh some some crumbs from a pack of chips off his off the front of his shirt. It's like, oh well good. I can help. <laughs> I'm I'm uh, I'm very I'm very very helpful. You look the type. Thanks. Now <laughs> now, Daniel, Dan, the, I don't even know how to say this. We got a report that there was some suspicious parcels coming in lately. I don't want to take up too much of your time. Have oh, you? I, I do. I do. And he, he sort of, even though he seems really reluctant to like stop looking at you, but he kind of like. Like turns a little and runs back to his to his to his security guard booth, but the whole time he like he keeps stopping and like looking over his shoulder like to make sure that you're still there, and like he's digging around. He seems digging around to his like little desk in there, and he comes back. He comes out with like a, a piece of paper, and he sort of he says, "Miss Miss uh Mrs Boo Miss Miss Boo." She said, she said she would be sending somebody to pick up a to pick up a package, and she had. She said she had all the authority that she needed, uh, and she she showed it to me, and, and it was real. And I and she said she would be sending somebody. And now, come to think of it, she said she. I think she described you. I don't think she described someone uh, quite quite like you. I think she. I think she might have. Uh, she might have uh, under under undersold you a little bit there, Ms. But yes, uh, Victoria. Victoria, 
Yes, but yeah, you're, you, you, yeah, he said, she, she said she was sending you. Excellent news, Dan. Perfect. This is just what I needed. We can get this over as quickly as possible. Now, Dan, would you mind showing me and my two companions in this car? Don't mind their appearance. This is all technically a bit under the radar. Could you show us to where this parcel is, actually? Uh, he doesn't... He can't bring himself to look at the car. Like, he's focused entirely on you. So, like, Astrid and Archie could have, like, three heads and he wouldn't notice at this point. <laughs> he's like... Even better. Yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll open the gate. Quick, quick, quick. Drive, 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 drive the car in. Nice car, by the way. I like your car. And then he runs off to his security guard. <laughs> I also like your car. <laughs> Thank you. It's a very nice car. Sorry that we wasted your rat. Uh, you'll come back. They'll come back. We'll pick them up. We'll do a drive by. Oh. Oh. And Victoria will drive into the session and I bump my mic. <laughs> <laughs> that was the rat. <laughs> that was the rat being <laughs> So what's your rat? rat. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> pump, pump. <laughs> he was coming back with information. Oh, was no. Just one flat rat. Uh, oh, no. Flat rat our, Friday. Our first casualty. <laughs> Ratfew's death is not canon. I refuse to accept that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you as you drive, you drive through the open boom, and he kind of once you're through, he closes it behind you, and he gets out. And he leads you down a road. Um, uh, he has like a little buggy cart sort of thing. Um, like a golf buggy. Uh, and he gets in it and he sort of, le- he, he sort of drives down the, this, this, this road between these huge stacks of containers. Uh, kind of leading you, leading you the, down towards where the, the package is. Um, as, you, as you go... Um, you can see like this this these towering mazes of like shipping crates. And, like it's it's amazing that he this guy seems to know exactly, you know, how to get past and like how to go through them and um basically know knows the direction he's going, but given how how much it sort of like twists and turns and like these roads seem that like they must change based on how the ca- how the containers are stacked. But eventually you do get to uh one container that's uh, at the bottom of like a ver- like a very small stack of like two or three, um, and he sort of parks his little golf buggy and swaggers on over there and and opens it and inside there is a like a um like a uh, like a maybe like an an eight foot long wooden crate that's been nailed shut. It's not the sort of thing that you would people would seem to ship things in anymore. Maybe you think maybe they'd use these metal containers, but it's sort of it's strapped to the walls and kept in place by like these long uh like like just straps that are bound about it and tight and connected to fixtures on the walls and he sort of stops and he stops at the doorway and goes uh well that's the one the that uh the, the Ms. boo asked after um can i can i help you anymore you know what daniel you've been such a great help already. I think we are probably all right <laughs> from here. We're just going to inspect it a bit, probably take it back to our location. But mm-hmm. I will tell your supervisor what a great job. Miss Boo, was it? Yes. Uh, I will inform her how much help you've been tonight. And we'll see if we can't get you a little bonus. Oh, uh, oh, thank you, thank you very much. Um, well, I'll You're just, welcome. I'll just, I'll just be over here keeping mm-hmm. the uh, the area uh, secure. I don't know if you see Ratview. Um, well, speaking of Ratview, as 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 Daniel sort of marches <laughs> marches off, um, Ratview Ratview kind of uh, doesn't really sort of like come up and ask to be picked up. He just climbs you because you, yeah. You know, oh. Never he mind. Just you and on, your, on your shoulder, and you still have. I think it would still. You'd still have. Yeah, your it's, power a, active. it's for the scene. It yeah, says. Okay. So we're still in the same scene. So he and Rafu sort of, um, as Dan sort of marches off down the down to like 
pick around between the characters. Although he keeps looking back at Victoria. He can't stop looking at Victoria. Um, Ratfew says, Dog! Big dog! Oh, no. How big? Not as big as you. Oh, okay, good. Big, though. Mm. Big is bigger than me. Much oh. bigger. Big, 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 big. Between you and me. All right. Hungry man. Hungry dead thing. Hmm? Hungry oh. dead thing, too. Very is hungry. That a... uh, Raph, you said also there's a hungry vampire around here somewhere. Can you not use that word in public, please? Oh, I... Uh, hungry... Dead man. <laughs> Better. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I'm not in around. public very often. I'm sorry. Um, Ratfew, <laughs> Ratfew, while you're sort of having this conversation, Ratfew climbs down off of you and runs inside the container and up the side of the wooden box and sort of looks at you again and says, very hungry dead thing. Oh, it's in there. It's very hungry dead thing. Very hungry dead thing. And like sort of claws at the wood a little bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> hungry dead thing. And claws at the wood a little uh-huh. bit. And then before before you sort of really know it, it finds like a, he finds like a gap in the in the box and disappears inside of it. All right. What do you say? You. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hear anything from him. Oh. Because he can't back out. <laughs> no, he's, he hasn't come out yet. <laughs> oh, I knock on the box. There's nothing. There's no sound coming back. Ratfew. <laughs> anyway, how do we want to move the box? Ratfew will be okay. He always is. Yeah. I would saw him. Yeah. I would saw him fight a fight a seagull. Yeah. You know what? Between hungry dead thing and seagull, Ratfew's gonna be just <laughs> fine. Uh, Astrid, could you be a deer and help our little goblin man unlatch this box from the walls, please? Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. And she'll go about doing that. I, I start on doing latches and stuff. <laughs> I'm supervising. <laughs> um, as she's yeah, doing... Oh, Archie I, just doesn't think about the fact that you're not helping. <laughs> as, uh, as she's doing that, she'll kind of look over to you, Victoria. Hey, by the way, that... That guy just cannot keep his eyes off you. Yeah, if you turn, you can see him? you can see Daniel just standing with like, <laughs> but like his hands just like limply at his side and his mouth open, just staring at Victoria from about twenty feet away, just staring at her like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, well, like, can you blame him? I mean, no, really? but like, he's just staring at you. Mm-hmm. People also stare at me. People do also stare at Archie. <laughs> But in a very different way. Let's just make that clear. (laughs) Well, again, can you really blame them? (laughs) I was just, I don't know, like, I mean, he seemed fine, then all of a sudden he's just all goo-goo. We can get into the specifics of the Um, (laughs) goo-goo after we've got the box into... Oh, right, the box. Unfortunately, the back of my car, I guess. Well, this even, this is, oh, this, maybe we should cut it in half. This box we is should not, not cut it in half. I will say, cut this box can is... Can we jam it? It will, it will not fit in your car. Uh, we, like, you know when you do the Ikea shuffle? Yeah. And you kind of put it like the middle console for a bit and it still sticks out the back and you have to go get the... Uh, no, it's... Like the it's I think it's far, to, it's far too big for that. My oh, my fingers God. start twitching, and I say, w- w- "We could open it." I, I I think we have to open it. Yes. I immediately start opening it as soon as you say that. Wait, 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 wait! wait. Hold on, wait, wait! We gotta wait. Uh, uh, why? I you mean, said uh, open it. At, no, at the second Archie starts clawing at the box <laughs> to open it, Victoria <laughs> turns off presents. Well, <laughs> um, and at that, and that point, uh, Daniel kind of like he kind of looks at you, but like even though Aura is no longer activated, doesn't kind of 
it doesn't kind of sh- shake away the residue of what you left there. So he just kind of like looks at you for a bit and then like, he's, he's apparently not quite as like enraptured anymore. He just kind of turns and gets back in his car and zips away up the, zips away up the road, leaving you by yourselves. Okay, there we go. Sorry, Archie. I just, I didn't want him seeing whatever's in here. I kind of forgot about him. <laughs> I mean, he is rather forgettable, but yeah, he was just kind of uh, standing there. No, well, no. you know, it's it's because of him that we got to this. So you know, yeah, no, he seems like a good guy. I like him. I'm... Just as much of a member as as Rathew. Mm. <laughs> okay, one step <laughs> down. <laughs> you know, it's like Victoria, you, me, Rathew. And then Dan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dan is not part of our group. Please do not Dan after this. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm New Coterie member has entered the party. <laughs> Surprise, y'all. My character's Dan. <laughs> Plot twist. All right. All right. Enough with the jokes. All right. Let's open this thing. So we have no choice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to assume you guys have like that sort of undead <laughs> vampiric strength that makes ripping open a wooden box without anyone around to kind mm-hmm. of stop you fairly easy. So when mm-hmm. the lid comes off, you see a, a tall, uh, man in like punk attire who has, um, who has had his, his like shirt, like, and, and sort of leather vest sort of carefully moved away to leave his chest bare so someone has been able to drive a stake through him uh through his heart um and he is is perfectly still uh he might be a bit withered from a uh, lack of lack of uh blood definitely this is something victoria that you are and probably archie too are definitely aware of in the and in like the kindred experience that a stake doesn't kill you but it puts you in torpor like a like a like a a state where you're dead but you're still your mind is still sort of kind of active uh and then when and you can come out of it uh later so he's yeah you find a man uh staked in this uh container and a a and a note that has been taped to the stake that says uh please unstake me I do immediately. Do you, I oh, grab on <laughs> the before he's got a chance to rip that bad boy out. Oh, <laughs> said not. I said to unstake it. Yeah, great. We're, don't do that, you stupid idiot. <laughs> it, but it's a guy. It is a guy. We're not unstaking him in public. Are you crazy? Oh, public, right. Also, Ratthew is just like curled up, like on um on on the man's like face, just like having a little little nap. Ratthew likes him. Hey, uh, time out, real quick. Yes, Astrid. Context-wise, y'all leading me to believe that he's okay because he looks (laughs) like. He it's looks like... really dead, like dead, dead. He dead. looks like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. He's okay. Raph, you said so. Do you do you know those little uh, sponge guys? You put in water and they expand, and then oh, they turn yeah. into like a big guy. I think that. But, so he's a, uh, so a guy, he's a... like a real guy. So, that's so a, he's a amazing mummy. way to describe he's it. A... <laughs> yeah. I... I'm a... Yeah, sure. Let's go with Sea Monkey right now for time brevity's sake. Ah, um... uh, do you want me? Well, okay. So you say not to take him in public, but what's the alternative? Because if we we can't take a corpse back to your car, uh, why not? And she pops the trunk. <laughs> Which is <laughs> less suspicious, a corpse or a guy? <laughs> no one's gonna check my trunk. <laughs> I, I got him. I got put him, him in the trunk anyway. I'll we'll put him in I'll the pick trunk. him up. Uh-huh. Thank you, mm. And I'll put him in the I, trunk. I collect a rat few. Yeah. Rat few is, is indignant of being uh disturbed from his face sleep. 
but climbs back onto Archie's uh, <laughs> Archie's shoulder and then oh. burrows into the fur and disappears. Yeah. So oh she'll, yeah, no, he's gone. <laughs> she'll pick up. She'll pick up the stick guy and she's like, "Well, shades, I hope I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm real sorry. I hope I'm trying to be as delicate as I can. Watch your head. Take him back to my. We take him back to my shack." We have a location that we're dropping him off, Archie. Remember. All oh, right. As yeah, you as you put him oh. in the in the in the in the the trunk or the boot of the car, as we would call it in Australia, um, you you like his head like clang like hits the side, and like <laughs> when you close the lid, like it might catch his arm. Uh, it's just, <laughs> just you're doing your best to be careful, <laughs> but it's you know it's an awkward I look situation. At, uh, I look at Victoria and say. Can we get brain damage? Because that didn't sound good. There's not much rattling around in there right now. He'll be good. Sorry, I'm just trying really hard not to disturb the the thing. Ah, his... oh, yeah, the steak. As, um, as long as the head is on, we're good. Okay. Don't knock the steak off. Don't get rid of the head. We're fine. Just chuck it. Okay. Off. Okay. All right. Well, he's in, he's in there. <laughs> Okay, so I you, did it. you close the lid, close the lid to the to the trunk, and um, he's he's inside, and the car is ready to. You ready to go? Uh, is, is that what you want to do now? Are you gonna you gonna look around more or what? Um, uh, I would. I look at. I, go ahead. No, you go first. Oh, I was gonna say um, I'm gonna try and have. I want to look in like the box, see if there's anything like any markings or anything, any belongings there still. And there's just um. There's just a note, uh, another yeah. note that wasn't taped or anything. Like this, it's like it's sort of like it's almost like it was an afterthought. It's just kind of like scrunched up in the in the corner. Um, do you want to pick it up and read it? Yes. It's just in the it's in the same um, handwriting, and it says, "Now we're even." Oh, he's even. I <laughs> say. <laughs> <laughs> And I don't provide context, and I put the note in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I get in the well, car. Yeah. So you're gonna go. I'll put the lid back onto the box. Oh yeah. Kind of Do you... it look like we hadn't just <laughs> oh, oh, so you close up the con- you close up the container and stuff behind you, so it doesn't look like you've been there. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Great. Um. <laughs> And you want to head to the to the to the address that uh, the sheriff gave you? Thank Dan before we leave. But yes. Oh, okay. So yeah, well, you're gonna go out past Dan anyway. So you stop at Dan's. Yeah. Hi, Dan. Dan's booth, and he's like, <laughs> he sort of, he's still, he's like, he's reading a a magazine, like a very a very flagrantly pornographic magazine, and he doesn't even, <laughs> he doesn't even look up. He's like, bye. <laughs> bye. Bye, Dan. <laughs> Can't wait to see Dan again. <laughs> oh, we will never see Dan again. <laughs> Dan should hope that we never see Dan again. <laughs> um, so you you're gonna you start you're gonna drive towards the uh, the address given. It's not far from here. You've got to go a bit further south. Um, but as you get um, as you get uh, you sort of keep down keep down the road. It's a it's the it's the it's the docklands, but it's the the part of the docklands that's not used as much anymore, and it gets darker and more um like like there's fewer street lights. And one thing, eventually your your um your headlights catch a in far enough in the distance that you are you could stop if you chose to. Um, I'm assuming you don't drive at like reckless breakneck speed in your fancy car, or do you? She's going like not to raise suspicion on account of the corpse in her boot. Okay, probably so, so... doing the speed limit, okay. being you know aware so, of her turns and you everything. S- you see what looks like a Rottweiler just sort of standing in the road, like staring down your car, and then oh, right, the dog, and then a man next to it with like a he's not wearing a shirt; he's just wearing like a pair of jeans, and his feet are bare. Uh, his skin is like that dead grey that you're all you're all very familiar with, and he's got a like a about two feet of chain in his hand, and he's just sort of like swinging it idly through the air, and he's just sort of standing there in the middle of the road, blocking the path of the car. I say to um Astrid, is that the devil? 
<laughs> no, no. Okay. Um, I really hate it to be the devil. It, no, that's definitely not the devil. Why does he got a uh, chain? I think we should run him over. <laughs> Why do you insist on hurting the car? <laughs> All right, the car. The car, the car. Let's not destroy but, my car. But really, though, Miss Victoria, do you know who that is? Not a clue, but we are in Anarch territory. Oh, it's well, the Anarch. I mean, yes, the titular Anarch. Yeah. Wait, the like devil. the? Yeah, the devil. The Shit, devil. You, said, you said you said it wasn't the devil. While you're while you're driving, he kind of holds up a hand, like stop, like sort of tapping the air, like stop, oh, okay, no, slow the, down. Okay, no, the devil wouldn't ask us to slow down. He's all about so bad true. things. So true, bestie. Uh, Victoria <laughs> will slow the car down. Um, the dog doesn't leave its spot as he sort of walks around to the side of the car. Um, the dog's sort of sitting right in front of the car, and he sort of walks around uh, to your side of the the, the, the car. Victoria, is the window open or closed? It's cracked, but all the yeah. doors and the boot are locked. Yeah, okay, so he taps. You know, she she does like the the one hand crank yeah. down. He ta- he taps the glass a little bit, just sort of like, and he taps it too hard, where you're like, oh god, it's gonna break it. Like just that, you know, that uncomfortable like level of force that some people use when they're being deliberately intimidating. Um, yeah, yeah, and he sort of says. How you going? Not bad. You've got um, you've got something in your car, in the boot. Yeah, me. Hello. No, not not. Oh, you. boot. No, not I'm not you, in the chief. Boot. You got something in the boot. Perhaps. I reckon. What's I reckon, it to you? I reckon. Uh, I reckon I'd like to have have a look if you don't mind. Why? Because I've been, uh, I've been looking for this particular, particular thing, this particular delivery of yours for quite a while, and you've got him, and that, that just, uh, that just shits me to tears, Dal. Hmm. It's a right shame that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you try asking Dan? He's, you know what? You should try asking Dan. I My rec- friend's so right. I reckon you should pop the boot before I rip it open. I reckon. This is such go- a nice car. <laughs> it's such a nice car. You wouldn't want to damage it. I wouldn't want to, but I would to get what I want. Mm. I don't like this guy. Yeah, I don't like him either. <laughs> and he, and he, he sort of stops and he yells over his shoulder, "Sweetheart!" And then the the the, the, the rot wheeler jumps onto the, the to the front of the car and it's just glaring at you through the through the windscreen and growling. And its eyes are a blood red that is not natural in a dog. <laughs> and it's salivating the whole time, dripping onto the oh, the, what onto the metal of the what's her name? Sweetheart, I just fucking told you. <laughs> oh, I thought, I thought that was like a pet name. I just kind of look you over know. to Victoria, like, what? What should I do? Yeah, uh, kind of. What you should pop? I think we should just pop the boot now. Why? Uh, <laughs> oh, she looks very. You know what? <laughs> do you let me just check something? You can see. You can see. Um, oh, she goes invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Does it work if someone's Wait, looking thanks. directly at you? Uh, standing perfectly still, the user blends into a surrounding as long as they don't have any kind of, as okay. long as they have some kind of cover, make no sound and don't move. Only mechanical or supernatural means can detect them. I'm just using it because I'm scared. I'm not like. Okay, he just kind of raises his eyebrows <laughs> at Archie, but then he, he sets his hand on the um on the handle of the car, and you can hear a very like subtle like groaning of metal but hasn't he's not quite yanking it off but you feel like he might be on the verge mm. so how much do you love your car little boy i'm not oh. 
Yeah, Victoria floors it. Like, <laughs> oh, boots to the ground. <laughs> And he's like, shit! And like, he, he, <laughs> he, fo- like, he, flo- he sort of, he sort of lets go of the, um, of the, the, th- the, the handle of the car and Sweetheart, the Rottweiler is agile enough that it kind of bounds onto the roof and you see like the roof maybe dent a little from the weight of the Rottweiler before it jumps off the back, just before you kind of make the full you make the you know you full you fully get to your top speed, uh, and you see them both in the rearview mirror um, for a second before they just like blink and gone. Oh no, that's not good. 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 Uh, <laughs> they just disappeared. If, Ar- if Archie hey, could no. breathe, he'd be having a panic attack. <laughs> You can still breathe if you want to. Yeah. Oh, cool. I start having a panic attack. Right. You, deliber- <laughs> you deliberately turn on breathing so you can have a panic yeah. attack. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you're, you, he doesn't appear to be chasing you, but then again, you don't know where he went. Could, mm. could one of you have a look out the back, see if he's... Chasing us, or if there's I'm still like invisible, anything else, so yeah, I have a oh, look. I'm on it. I'm concentrating on driving. <laughs> so we we're both taking a look. Yeah, you don't um, see him. This there, he's gone. Out of curiosity, could I try using heightened senses just to make doubly sure? Absolutely. That's uh, is that a rouse? I think that's just a no rouse check. I it's a free one. Yeah. Um, give me a wits plus resolve. Wits plus resolve. Yeah. Okay. No extra. Uh, oh wait, actually, I think I do get one extra dice because of heightened senses. Oh, hang on. No, yeah. no, hang on. It's not. You're not exposed to extreme sensations. Never mind. Don't do that. Sorry. Um, okay. I'm still relearning the rules. Um, oh, you're good. Yeah. So you don't. You you don't see um any side of him, and you would maybe sort of know from experience that you probably pick up on. Um, if he was sort of lurking in the dark, you might see him, but he's he's not there at all. Okay. Are the vampires that can teleport? I say to Victoria. Uh, probably not that one. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't Wait, see she... him. The vampires that can run fast, though, and there are vampires that can go invisible. I guess they should certainly run. run. Am I seeing vampires too much? Are we still in public? Mm-hmm. I'm not entirely clear on what the line is. Cool. It's fine. <laughs> in the car, it's fine as long as the window. Okay, down okay, okay. Uh, is the window up from before? No, it's <laughs> like from... still like. <laughs> I I cover my mouth then. Hey, uh, <laughs> so, what should we do if he shows up again? Well, our first. Port of call. We'll be getting back into Camarilla territory as quickly as possible. And then we have to drop this guy off, and then I'm oh, I'm probably going to have to repaint my car. It definitely has some dents and scrapes from... She is distraught. but (laughs) Probably for the wrong reasons. (laughs) Um, So, okay, so you've gotten out of that. That scene is over we we transition to a new scene uh where the victoria's slightly slightly uh beaten up um muscle car is pulling into into an actual like warehouse space like the go- the garage roller door entrance has been lifted up and victoria's car is pulling into that um and we find uh the sheriff waiting with another man, a much taller, sort of broad-shouldered man. Um, they're both of... Uh, you might notice now that this, this man is of, of, of Chinese heritage and so is the sheriff, um, and they seem to be sort of engaged in discussion when you arrive, but as soon as you stop the car, they stop talking and both fix their attention on you. Um, and the man, without even sort of saying anything to you or even acknowledging you, really moves around behind Victoria's car and waits the trunk to open um, while the sheriff remains where she's standing. I think they want you to pop the boot. Yeah, I'll pop the boot. 
<laughs> uh, Victoria steps out and helpfully pops the boot yeah. for the stranger and greets the sheriff. Um, the sheriff says, "You did a, you did, a, you did a good job. Thank you for your, thank you for being prompt about it." Um, and then she sort of she says something in uh, in Cantonese to the to the the man you don't recognize and he sort of nods and carries the um carries the the unconscious uh torpid body over to a metal table before sort of dumping him onto it unceremoniously with a thud um and then uh the sheriff kind of looks to you victoria and says did you have any difficulties well we were Blocked momentarily by, well, I could only assume to be another kindred, but from the Anarchs. Hmm. He was quite dog. insistent, and a dog uh, named Sweetheart, not that that matters. Uh, he was quite insistent that whatever was in my boot was um, his property. That's incorrect. Oh, I would assume so. But that was what he was saying. Well, I'll I'll take it under advisement, but I wouldn't worry. <laughs> um, that said, um, she sort of looks to the three of you and says, uh, "Maybe take a few steps back." And she gestures okay. away from the table, uh, and then you see the the tall, uh, sort of broad-shouldered man who carried the feet carried your your delivery out of the drunk trunk reach over and yank the steak out of um out of his chest and toss it over his shoulder and javier regains sudden consciousness uh with about four uh, with about four hunger <laughs> yeah i was gonna ask like where, where's yeah. my hunger at <laughs> yeah i'll add that to you now <laughs> so javier okay. you're awake oh what do you I do i locked my dots I can I can um, do it. There we go. Uh, sorry, no, I <laughs> wasn't yeah. expecting that. Um, but it it's cool, right? I I don't feel the need to like. Not just yet. Find there's, the there's next not, meal immediately. You are you are incredibly hungry, but at the, by the same token, there is um, there's nothing here immediately that would suggest to you food. So you're not. So you're not. The beast is like is agitated, but it's not outright trying to bust loose. Okay, so he groans and sits up and kind of does that, you know, pinch the bridge of your nose under the sunglasses <laughs> um, and mumbles, oh, it's the worst, it's the worst hangover ever. And then just kind of looks up and takes in the scene. <laughs> I imagine well, I see the, the five people before me. <laughs> yeah, I'm waving. <laughs> Victoria's got her arm outstretched uh, in front of both Archie and Astrid, like a parent that keeps their children <laughs> back. Just in case. <laughs> like when you hit the brakes too hard and you gotta put your hand yeah. in <laughs> The sheriff um, says something further in Cantonese to the man who moves away from Javier sort of leaving leaving him in kind of like a half circle, just open space uh, that, and that, she, that they everyone's standing at the perimeter of. And she says, I thought you'd be uh, a little more savage after so much time at sea. And at, at, at that... Uh... Can he perceive anything about his surroundings, or is it just temperature controlled warehouse? It's just a. It's not even temperature controlled. It's just a a uh, just an old like you know corrugated iron space where they used to put things, and now they don't put things there anymore. So it's just you know that's pretty much all there is to it. And it's January, am I right? Yeah, so it's hot. Okay, because it was definitely not hot. When I got in the box. No, it was cold when you got in the box. <laughs> oh god, how much time has passed? 
And he just kind of looks around and says, like, <laughs> how many months? I'm not uh, completely informed on the nature of your your uh, transit here. But I would and say he, yeah. that I heard about your... I was given word about you uh, two months ago. Kind of squints. Oh, oh what, what the fuck was that guy's name? Um, He said that he had a guy, and no offense, but you're not a guy. I uh, purchased... Uh, I purchased this boon uh, from him. He is no longer part of the equation. Oh, uh, wait, no, that's, that's, that's bad. It is what it is. That would make you... And he's you... kind of like, look, he's looking around still yeah. at everyone else. Does Victoria still look like she's gone into mom mode? <laughs> uh, she's just watching curiously, but mostly just keeping the other two from getting yeah, into you know her it. It's a you very know... clear American <laughs> Southern accent. Very similar to Astrid's, actually. Um, yeah, if Victoria wasn't holding me back, I would have got already gone over and, like, shaken your hand and <laughs> stuff. <laughs> um, hope, the sheriff says, I'm hoping I don't need to uh, instruct you in the nature of uh, pre station boons and the like. He squints. You owe me a boon as the person who has brought you here out of harm's way. Yes? Uh, that wasn't the agreement the agreement changed <laughs> i'm sorry my brain um, immediately <laughs> autofilled it to pray i don't alter it further yeah, yeah no i was <laughs> i was about to say archie was literally about to quote that because empire strikes back has come out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and i imagine one of you shot me up before i can say it. <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of like looks, like, looks the over the jedi <laughs> <laughs> so he's looking between the the one who's clearly prancing around like she has the authority <laughs> and then the others who seem to be a bit further back one of them looks like a, a fancy lady a furry man a man question mark <laughs> can't really tell and someone who at least Looks dressed similarly to him. And looks to them as like, well, what's your part in this? Help. This, is, this is your new... Your new uh, associates. Your new coterie. Oh. <laughs> uh, Victoria, look, uh... <laughs> like, pulls off face. <laughs> I look very excited. Is it a very look... obvious face? Yeah, it's a, mm, 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 excuse me, sort of face. I look very excited and look at Asher and say, new friend. What? The like one person oh. looks mortified, one person looks excited. and <laughs> The sheriff holds up a hand to kind of like silence any, any further discussion and says, you are each of you in a position that is very tenuous within the Camarilla. One of you uh, clearly created without permission and well miss errant we all know uh that you have a something of a checkered past and it's simply simply put i have work that needs doing and you are going to do it for me i will reward you in turn 
I say, I say I'm going to reward you for this, for bringing uh, my delivery to me. You are going to be introduced to Prince Lytton and allowed to f take a more full uh, role within our society. I understand that you don't like to have decisions made for you, but that is just the nature of business. I ain't had a decision made on my own since I got this way. Well, then you'll take to it very well, I assume. Look over at Archie to try to gauge his reaction. Uh, excited for a new friend, basically. <laughs> Everything mm. after that's been kind of immaterial. He does seem oh, to kind also... of linger on you, uh, Archie, a little bit longer than the others. Oh. Oh, also, I'm um, here. Something about Archie's your enthusiasm and excitability <laughs> has caught his attention. Archie's also excited for the prospect of tasks. <laughs> Loves it tasks. gets boring being in the sewers all day. <laughs> yeah, right, but... Uh... Before we go any further on, on this whole, uh, jindig, uh, I'm fucking starving. Well, I'll leave that up to your new coterie mates to assist you. Um, goodbye. And then she and the, the tall man just kind of turn and walk towards the exit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought that was going to be a lot more dramatic. Them saying Once goodbye. they're out of sight, he starts doing that, you know, that pocket check to make sure all your shit's still there. Everything you know. that you had when you went in the box is there. Okay, cool. Except, Except my guess, shirt. And, Where the fuck the is note. my shirt? <laughs> no, your shirt was just rolled up, like, so they could get to it. Okay. Get to your heart. So you can be roll You can roll it back down. So I'm going to fix that really quick. Yeah. I realize that it... It took me a bit because it's so warm and sticky. And then when I realized, I quickly shove it back down. <laughs> Victoria, how oh. do you feel about this sudden, um, <laughs> this sudden uh, creation of a coterie around you? <laughs> I suppose the best way to describe it would be a awful state of shock <laughs> she's basically going through all the stages of grief very rapidly as she's doing that i want to go over to uh javier who i don't actually know the name of yet i think and yeah, hold out a hand no no one yet yeah, and even say, the sheriff didn't say javier's name no one introduced them yeah um i hold out my hand and say hi i'm archibald you can call me archie <laughs> he kind of like it just kind of gives a small little chuff there, there's something about you that really amuses him. <laughs> ah, and this is Ratview. And Ratview comes out of the fur in my Chewbacca costume. <laughs> he helped. We found you in a box. You're even. Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I we pull are, out the note. far from even. <laughs> I pull out the note and give it to you. It says you're even, though. Do I recognize the handwriting on this note? Mm. I'm going to say no. No, you don't. Okay. Um, Asher's just going to look between the new person and uh, Victoria. Kind of set on Victoria. Yeah, hey, uh, you you going to be all right? Yeah, you all right over there, princess? Uh, oh. <laughs> fine. I'm fine. Oh, it's fine. You need to sit. No, I do not need to sit. Oh, do you want to see her car? It's really cool. Uh, well, let, let, let's get some introductions first. Uh, oh, right, yeah. So, uh, Archie's introduced himself. I'm Astrid. American, right? Yeah. In Dallas, how about you? Nashville. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, Javier. By the way. Nice to meet you, Javier. He just gives you a face. <laughs> I'm going to pretend you didn't do that intentionally. What? He just, he doesn't even bother. <laughs> uh, 
Just blinks. Second, uh, you or Archie? Uh, what about you, Princess? Victoria suppressing the seething expression she has <laughs> of being called Princess yet again. Pulls herself together and approaches Javier. By the way, this Victoria. man is like six foot three. Yeah. Oh, oh you he tower over, over all of me. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very short... hard to get oh, him you... into that trunk. <laughs> and we have to like origami you up. Well, that's why I said you like, you know, closed it on his arms and legs like a bunch of times. Yeah. <laughs> he does kind of stretch and I imagine every bone in his body pops in some horrible way. <laughs> oh. That was a noise. <laughs> um <laughs> But yeah, am I the shortest in the party at 5'5"? Five five? Yes. So, yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. So as he you, takes um, the sunglasses oh, off and starts to clean them. Ah, <laughs> uh, so what brings you to Australia? Oh, besides a box. I would assume he owed someone something. He's no I didn't know anyone either. shit. Yeah, it said he's even. I sure heard the note. <laughs> oh, uh, that's Javier, has, you are. Javier has taken that note and he's folding it up and oh, putting okay. it in one of his many, many jacket pockets. <laughs> oh, I don't show her the note. Uh, the note said he's even. The note said he was even. Well, yeah. Seems situations change for the lot of us. Uh, Victoria, by the way, Erin, either oh. way. Nice to meet you, and she holds her hand out to a little handshake. He'll hold his out and also shake. Um, he, everyone does probably notice that he does have, uh, black nail polish on his hands, <laughs> uh, or on his, uh, fingernails, but it has clearly been months since it was applied. Aw, oh, twins. <laughs> <laughs> she like rotate his hand in her grip and like inspect his nails just like mm, we need to get you we need to get you some new polish my guy yeah uh, what 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 day is it saturday you know what, saturday? what it's okay that doesn't help me i've been in a box for months can you give me a date uh no i'll i'll give i'll give you a day if you give me one second to find a calendar <laughs> Yeah, uh, Archie whatever, starts doing whatever. maths on his fingers to try and work out the date. Uh, whatever that, whatever date we get, that's the date Astrid gives you. Uh, yeah, it's it's uh, January 9th. Oh. Okay. And uh, what day was he shipped? Uh, I imagine it was sometime in late 81. Yeah, it would be like sometime in November 81. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Last I checked, it was November. Oh. Why uh, is it so dang hot? Uh, so... I'm not... Uh, we're quite, like, you know, we're quite close to the equator. This country. Mm. So you know what? We seem to be talking We seem <laughs> <laughs> to be dancing around the subject. Uh, Javier... Could, since we are apparently a nice little family now, could you explain your situation? Archie smiles a bit? so wide. <laughs> you just get that single eyebrow raise when you say "nice little family." <laughs> it is clearly sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, no, he yeah. he's picking up on the sarcasm, but he's pretty sure that you know your little friend isn't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, Archie. <laughs> Does not understand. He he will try at a smile, but it, it's more like a smirk and just kind of pat you on your furry little shoulder. Aw. We're going to be friends, right? Sure. I don't Ooh. think we have a choice. I don't feel... Okay, phone. Anyways, you, I don't know if you guys you... heard that. <laughs> What? Oh, my phone just decided to randomly fall. Nope, didn't you? Um, <laughs> oh. Uh, yeah. Um, 
good. Uh, yeah, Hill uh, up to Victorian is like, uh, it's a bit of a long story. Footnotes, perhaps? Uh, footnotes, uh... Oh, Javier, November? I, will, uh, I will stop you just as you say November. Um, you hear a voice yell from the, like the wide sort of archway entrance into the warehouse. And it's the, as you, as you all uh, look in that direction, three of you would recognize the shirtless, shoeless man with the chain and his Rottweiler I go in um uh standing standing there and he lifts a finger and points it at javier and says that's mine and that's where we're going to end the session for tonight oh <laughs> oh boy <laughs> well hunger for ready to fight oh boy. <laughs> I, t- I wasn't gonna pull punches i never said i would <laughs> Oh no, it's going to be fun. I I was absolutely expecting to frenzy the minute you pulled that out. (laughs) (laughs) I stopped the recording. Oh, fun times. It's okay, we're all going to bond real quick. (laughs) Sure. Actually, poor choice of words. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, actually, I've got bond resistance. Okay, well, that was... What are we, the (laughs) spot? I, I had a few points where I was going to be like, where I was going to like say, okay, now we're going to pause it here or do something else. And then I just kept going because I thought it was more interesting to keep going. So we've already gone, yeah, sorry we've already if, gone, uh... we've, we've already gone off my, my thing that I, that I had set up, set up <laughs> in my brain. That's Hell fine. yeah. Well, that was Makes a lot sense. of fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry if I was going. Do what? No. <laughs> it's incredible. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Love the little rat man. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> wonderful. I love him. And I am dying because Blue knows exactly who he's probably reminding Javier of. Oh. Oh. And almost bit for bit. <laughs> Except in Osferatu. <laughs> <laughs> this is very, very deja vu. <laughs> oh. Just... No, like I, I kind of had an idea that uh, I kind of had an idea that Archie might remind him, but no, the the way that you the way that you played him, just bit for bit, you remind Javier of someone he clearly knew. Oh, like in character. Yes. Oh hell yeah! <laughs> the reason why Blue and uh, Serv are laughing is because that person is the character I played in another game. With uh. Blue. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and so <laughs> Blue has been in this exact position before. <laughs> I like it's just playing him as a <laughs> <laughs> Except, you know, everyone <laughs> treated you like you're competent. <laughs> I know, it was crazy. <laughs> well, like Astrid was just like, okay, this is like the first like official person I've met. Because Archie's <laughs> yeah. Archie's just been like yeah, so this is how it's supposed to be, but we should stick to we should stick to the shack. It's all it's all complicated, and I don't like it. Let's stay here. <laughs> but then, like Victoria is like an official, or at least as yeah. official as official has been. So she's like, okay, this is clearly someone that knows what's up. Yeah, Archie's been teaching you like all the names of the rats he knows. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like very Astrid useful, knows very there, important information. Like yeah. Astrid knows there are other names for other things. Like blood has another name. She's not quite sure what that is. She knows what kindred are. Um, but yeah, no, she's just been like, okay, well, this lady looks like she knows what she's doing. I will listen to her. I just like that Archie keeps constantly using the on the nose, um, like the word we, you know, the Camarilla vampire word we don't use, vampire. Just like every, uh-huh. and like, and I love that every time he says it. Victoria's like, mm. <laughs> so it's like, don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Out of curiosity, you don't have to tell me, but what is Archie's intelligence? 
Uh, he's got, I think, two dots in intelligence. So he's not an okay. idiot idiot. He's just kind of naive. <laughs> okay. Okay. He's also got a free in wits. <laughs> How are they the same? <laughs> <laughs> but he's got a... Resolve is his highest stat, which I find <laughs> funny. It probably has to do with uh, who has really high charisma and has socialized with real people and yeah. who has lived in the sewer for five years. Yeah, uh, oh yeah Archie's got a uh, one charisma. <laughs> he's got a free manipulation. He's got a free manipulation, though. Maybe he's just manipulating just... you all with his, his like, <laughs> nice guy. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's playing 4D chess. Yeah. <laughs> right, also... We're all, like, super competent. Well, I put um the points in manipulation because I might need it to convince animals oh, yeah, to do things. Give yourselves all um two experience points too. Heck okay. yeah! Uh, where two do we put it? Ex- being Ooh. woken up, yeah. unstaked. <laughs> on the so on the reverse one, I believe. So total XP, we have two. Oh, yeah, there it is. Found it. Two. Cool. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Uh, if you remember the the character that my little icon in uh, Roll20 showed before I moved to my character sheet, mm-hmm. that is who Archie is reminding him of. Yeah, I only realized halfway through that Archie is very similar to a uh, D&D mm-hmm. character I played once, but um, mm-hmm. he's different in some way. Basically, the D&D character I played once I described as a human golden retriever. <laughs> Well, it's, good to have, Archie, like, I think... it's good to have a Nosferatu who isn't like the stereotypical, like, yeah, Nosferatu. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, Archie That's loves great. life. Well, undeaf. Also, also Violet, I forget, are we still I'm... streaming? Yeah, we are. Um, okay. We're not recording anymore, though. Um, cool, also, cool. Violet, I apologize for um, deliberately throwing a wrench into your, into your, <laughs> into your backstory just to. No, this is great. <laughs> He's going to be fucking pissed. <laughs> Violet wrote like a, a very nice, like, uh, detailed backstory for Javier, and then I'm like, this is good, and I deliberately <laughs> undermined it with the actual first. Oh, session. I expected you to undermine it because <laughs> these people aren't anarchs. <laughs> it was very clear these are not the people who were supposed to receive this package. <laughs> oh. He, he is putting together that he has been stolen. Oh, do we corpse snap you? <laughs> I think you might have called that. It's called bat. Oh, no. It's called bat napping in the vampire community. Oh wait, no, no, it's called grave robbing. <laughs> well, because like you know, like I had put in the little backstory, you know, the the dude that he'd been talking to was like, I know a guy, and so whenever it's like, uh, no offense, but you're not a guy. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like that was the uh, you're not who I'm supposed to, and I think now he might have put together that the person screaming with the dog was the one. Like, if he didn't already suspect he'd been stolen, that cleared it up. <laughs> <sighs> that was fun. That was. I had a lot of fun. I'd like to run more World of Darkness sessions, because um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah, like... I, I had an immense amount of fun, even though like I was just like spectating for half of it. It was very amusing spectating. <laughs> I hope you liked playing the captain of the team, uh, Victoria Blue. <laughs> yeah, the competent one. Are you kidding? That's like hey. a jam. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm. That's generally the role I've taken when I'm a player, so I'm glad I'm not doing that here. <laughs> oh, it's 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 beautiful, and I I am I love this. Um, <laughs> I also enjoy that. Uh, you know, I'm basically like, oh, rock and hard place. Everything has changed. This is bad. This is bad. <laughs> <laughs> there is one person I give a shit about in the world, and this has fucked things up. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> Don't worry. It wasn't. In, it wasn't in a good in a good way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, we can we can probably call it there. Um, I can do a little yeah. a cheeky little raid uh, into someone. Cheeky uh, little raid. And give and you guys can all uh, either go and sleep if you need to sleep, or go and stop melting if you're if you're blue. 
Watch it. Um, <laughs> it was, he was currently in a heat wave. My oh. bit bit uh, beeped at me because apparently my heart rate went up really high. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was too busy cry laughing at all of you. <laughs> yeah. What was it that made you cry a lot? I've already forgotten. It it was uh oh geez now I you expect me to remember things yeah oh now I'm now I'm stuck in my Texan god damn it <laughs> so um. I I think a, a, a little bit of a back bit uh Serb and I are both from Texas and actually both from the same hometown and um, we've known mm. each other for like what fifteen years now thirteen fifteen oh, years something like that um. And we both independently decided to give our character southern accents. Nice. And it's hilarious, because I was like, oh, they're going to instantly recognize one another. <laughs> it's not just American, but southern. Although, depending on which, depending on who in Tennessee you ask, that can be fighting words. Mm -hmm. Tennessee is very much, we're not the south, but they, they're the south. They're, they're very much the south. They're like almost Appalachia. And ironically, a Tennessee accent is very, very close to a Texas accent. So oh. both of us are just reverting to our natural accents that we try to keep a cap on because people hear a Southern accent and think you're stupid. Fair enough. Also, we hate getting questions about what it's like to live in Texas and if we take a horse everywhere. <laughs> uh, look. Oh, I imagine... Lizzie. I think uh, the amount of people that have asked me if I ride a kangaroo, I can relate to yeah. that somewhat, then. I hear that mm -hmm. the, time. Yeah. the answer is, of course, when I was little, yes, but I outgrew them. Yeah. <laughs> they don't, big now. Yeah, they don't breed the, the red ones, which you, which the adults can ride. No. They're all in the north. I, I nearly had to fight a kangaroo off with a cricket bat while I was camping this on the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to steal our hamburger buns. I'm surprised it wasn't a wombat. Those guys always get me when I go camping. <laughs> yeah, those guys are bastards. I don't um, trust wombats. Wombats are like little tanks. Yeah. So I saw I saw a video of one that was just scratching itself with an electric fence and didn't give a shit about the fact that it was electrified. <laughs> <laughs> he just like me yeah. for real. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do my raid now and then let you guys yeah. get back to your stuff. I'm going to raid Barjo just because I like Barjo. Oh yeah, Padre. Why can He's doing a watch party of Jurassic Park 2. I Sorry. only have the chat popped out so I can't actually see anything, but I'll <laughs> I'll ride the raid. <laughs> Yay, raid. We did it. We did it. No, We've raided. Yeah. We uh, did it. That was so much fun. Thank you.